Hello everyone and welcome back to this F1 Championship season. We are in the 16th round, 16 out of 19. We are closing in on the end of the championship, so we are, so things will be hotting up, so they will. Lewis Hamilton, uh, if he is currently 21 points ahead, so he has of his teammate Nico Rosberg. And if he wins, if he gains 4 points on Nico on the next... Uh, on the 16th, 17th and 18th rounds, so he's got a long time to do it, so he does now, like, but if he gains 4 points, then he has won the title outright, so he has, and he has been on stellar form at the minute, so he has now, like, after uh, wins, wins last time out in Russia, wins last time, uh, wins, like, he's, I can't remember how many wins he's been on in a row, but it's certainly stellar. So it is now like in the last couple of, or in the last rounds anyway. And it's, as you can see, it's extended its gap in the championship. It used to be, used to be a couple of points. It used to be three or four points here or there between Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton. But uh, Lewis Hamilton has finally got, <clears throat> he's got a grasp on this championship and. Uh, that's it now like he's basically on his way to winning it and he's got a better chance than Nico Rosberg uh, had this ever had this season and I think this is the biggest gap like we've had in uh, this championship so far so uh, third place Kimi Räikkönen 184 points he extended, our, he extended his lead upon us Sebastian Vettel uh, to 13 points and that's after the rain, rain in Russia, and unfortunately we can capital or we can uh, pick up the form that we have been on. We had got a number of podiums, we have number of podiums, uh, in the last in the last number of races, and unfortunately we couldn't pick one up uh, last time out. And Felipe Massa and Bottas, uh, fifth and sixth, the two Williams drivers are battling out for 5th place, so it seems uh, 2 Mercedes, 2 Ferrari drivers and 2 Williams drivers are battling out between them. So it keeps it keeps the teams on their toes and keeps, uh, it's good to see that the, the teams are getting the best out of, the best out of the cars as both drivers are battling each other rather than battling somebody else who's in def different machinery. So it is, and they're definitely uh, being very consistent. So the Constructors' Championship, 639 points. Uh, Mercedes has 355 for us and 284 for Williams. So I think we have got a solid, we got six or over uh, 70, 70 points, 71 points uh, between us and Williams. So I think, I think that's that battle over. We got a solid second place. So we have unless we. Unless something drastic happens in the last couple of, in the last number of races, and then that'll uh, that'll drop us down. But I don't think that'll happen. And Mercedes are just running away from it from the very start. They're nearly uh, 639 points, and they're coming up to the 650 mark. And potentially, if they break the 700 mark, I think that'll be uh, that is the highest uh, F1 constructors. Uh, points for one season, I think. Uh, uh, I might be wrong, but I think they'll break over 700 anyway, and that is phenomenal for one season. So it is now, like, never mind. Uh, never, never mind just over a couple of seasons now, like, you know. So here we go. The next race is in the United States, so it is in Austin, Texas, and um, we're going to see how we do over in America. So we are, so one shot qualifying, five lap races per usual, Legend AI, uh, flashbacks off, Park Fermi on, uh, reduced, reduced vehicle damage and normal corner cotton, and uh, assist, breaking the assists off, anti low brakes on, traction control full, uh, tra or dynamic race line off, uh, gearbox automatic and pet assist on, so hopefully we don't need the pet assist, so here we go for the race in America. 
for the United States Grand Prix. Here we go, and it is a blistering day as well. This is very good to see. Load the setup and put the option tires on, and here we go. Here we go, just to see. Just to see how we how we do in this race. Or this race, there's a blind first corner, so there is up the hill. I think you try and try and spot the apex and go around the right hander into long chicane. A lot of chicane section here. I might see a lot of Silverstone with maggots and Beckets and uh, and going around or chapel and all that that section and and it seems it seems all the modern tracks seem to be based off seem to be the same now like even though you can't have uh, even though uh, what is it a chicane the chicane's a chicane and you can't really like hit or you can't really do much about it but you can uh, make different oh that doesn't help now like but you can make or you can see similarities between the different tracks uh, so you can as the as the new modern tracks carry or as the more more modern tracks carry or well, it's a good belt, so they do. And that was a drastic la or drastic qualifying session. As we bogged down, we bogged down in the last in the last sector, and that lost us time. So it does. So Sebastian Vettel is Sebastian Vettel, 18th place. That is. Dramatic for us, so it's four seconds off the pace. So hopefully we can uh, we can gain, well obviously gain uh, some possessions uh, during the race. But hopefully we can uh, get some decent points out of this, but and recover from this qualifying session. So Nico Rosberg on pole, trying to fight back against his teammate Lewis Hamilton and gain some points back off him. So Lewis Hamilton second, uh, Kimi Räikkönen and our teammates third. Felipe Massa is out qualified. Valtteri Bottas, so he's definitely got a boost from uh, from overtaking him in the last in the last race. So hopefully, hopefully this will be. Hopefully, if we get a good start, we can recover from our poor qualifying position. But but you never know. We'll have to see. Have to see how far off the grab we can go. And here we go. And hopefully it's not raining again, <laughs> like in Russia. Here we go. So. So let's see how we do. Now 18th place. 18th place with only the manners behind us now. So we'll definitely get a lot of overtaken done. So well further we can get a lot of overtaken done this first corner. We'll have to see. We seem to nick that up the inside and we're up to 12th already. So are someone's okay. There we go, a lot of people being side by side, that'll hold them up so well. I'm going to try and knock it down the inside. So, a oh, good move there. So, we're up to 11th already. So, this is a very good start. So, it is. And down the inside of the stopping as well. So, 9th place. We couldn't have hoped for any better now. Like, for, as, a, as you can see in the top top left hand corner the target was ninth place if you
Qual five power, then it gives you it gives you an easier target, so it does now like but we've met that already and it's not even the end of the first lap. So Kavia and Perez are battling the way, so they are this'll this'll help us. So well and um, we'll try and sneak it down the inside of well, Perez there, give him room. That's why I haven't made and not get any collisions and he seems Try and knock it down the inside as well. It's a good move there, and we're up to eight. So eight from the first lap from 18th place. <laughs> so we couldn't have hoped for any, hoped for any better now, like. But there we go. We'll try and dive it. Kvyat gives us room, so he does now, like. We give him room. So we do. We'll try and. Going side by side through these corners, so we are now like trying not hold each other up. I'll try and knock it down that side. There we go. I'm a wee bit wide now, and we're up to seven. So we are now like so. This is a good recovery drive from from the back of the grid. So as if we can catch up to Ricardo, that would be great, and we could get a couple more positions. But we'll just have to just have to. Wait and see. So down the longest straight of of this circuit. As I was saying, like about uh, these these modern tracks, they're all built basically by the same guy. So they are Hernan Talca, and you can see similarities between. Between the different tracks, between uh, was it this one, Sochi, and you see, there's most of the most of the old track, the older tracks have uh, gravel traps that they do, and uh, what was it, Russia and uh, Circuit of America is this track that we're on at the minute have uh, runoff, massive runoff areas. So they do. So that's the difference between that and uh, and the old the old air tracks, which have been in the calendar for much longer. So they have in the modified modified tracks. Whenever we were at Hockenheim, or whenever F1 was at Hockenheim back in before they took it off the calendar, the track used to be used to be mile a couple of miles longer than. The track that we have today, so as and they shortened it down and made uh, made massive runoffs. So they do from uh, basically like this track, basically like this track here. So they have and as this compared to that's one of the examples of the tracks that have been refurbished. So they have um, made modern rather than. Rather than uh, the tracks that have been kept, the old tracks that have been kept the same. And I want to see trying to nick it down the inside of Perez a wee minute here. And we've done the move there, but uh, it's good to see all. Most of the tracks have had a modification from whenever they were raced on in 1970s, 1980s. So. It's definitely good to see that F1 is moving with the times, so they are not just going back to just uh, barriers, just basically single single line uh, racing. So as now, like and he he using hedges for barriers, and they've actually got massive runoffs, and so that if you make a mistake, you're not going to crash heavily. So it's definitely good. Good health and safety and all that, so it is. So uh, this race at the minute, uh, Sergio Perez is, as you have seen now, he's been trying to overtake us the last couple, last lap and last lap or so. 
I'm going to see if we can catch up to Daniel Ricardo, but he's been he's been battling with the two Williams drivers and they've been They've been holding each other up so they have now like but not enough that we could catch them but they're going side by side it seems. They've run a wee bit wide there. So they have and This won't help us with our battle for battle with our teammate, Kimi Raikkonen, because he's up in the podium places, so yes, now like. That's good, 3.9 seconds. I doubt that we're going to make that up, but. We just have to see if there's a collision, you never know with with other racers. Like someone could go for a rash overtake, doesn't work, and then it turns out it knocks but or knocks him or another or the person he's trying to overtake or both of them out of the race. So just have to see these sw sweeping corners. <laughs> Aren't good for our car now, like trying to trying to keep them from also sliding the bike. Just wrecking the tires for the last bit. We're going to put it up into Rich Mixter and hopefully Perez won't go or Perez won't go for ra or rash overtake on us now. So we've we got massive train behind us, so we do. Close off inside, close off. And we've got wide there. And now if we can hold on to 7th, I'd be happy enough after our... After the decimal qualifying session that we had. We're on a wee bit wide there. Zooms in the mirrors. Perez isn't close enough to get to get an overtake done, and there we go. That is the American Grand Prix done. So a seventh place, seventh place we have got, and that is good. Lewis Hamilton actually overtook overtook Nico Rosberg. So you did. So that's extended his lead. That is. As I said at the start of the episode, that is uh, him over him over the 25 point mark. So I think next couple of races he could win the title. So that's one to look out for. So Lewis Hamilton won, Nico Rosberg second, Kimi Räikkönen third, Felipe Massa and Bottas are fourth and fifth. So there, Massa's still Massa's extending this lead. Uh, with Volta bought us, so he has now, like, and Kimi Raikkonen has extended his lead to us. And Daniel Ricciardo also getting in the mix as well. Uh, with the two Williams drivers, so it's good to see that the Red Bull has definitely got pace. And hopefully, if we if we can concentrate on uh, qualifying, get a better qualifying, uh, then potentially we can uh, fight with. Uh, fight with Mercedes and our teammate and Williams again in the next race. So here we go. Tw as I said, Lewis Hamilton uh, first. Nico Ross or Lewis Hamilton with 355 points. Nico Rosberg with 327, 28 points a gap, with 25 points for a race win. So uh, Nico Rosberg has to uh, as they start eating into that lead and start winning a couple of races because Lewis Hamilton's running away with it. So he has uh, Kimi Räikkönen 199 points and Sebastian Vettel ourselves with 177. So we are we are 22 points uh, behind our teammate after after a couple of or a couple of her results. So uh, we still managed to get points, but. Sadly, unfortunately, it wasn't enough to beat our teammate. Um, Felipe Massa is 157, and Volta bought us 149. 
So I'm the constructor, 682 points for Mercedes, uh, Ferrari 76 points and Williams 300, or Ferrari 376 points and Williams 306, so 70 points the gap. So it is, and I think we're solid in second, and Mercedes are solid in first, and Williams are solid in third. So there we go, another race is done, so it is another Another round closer to the ch or to the finale of the championship. Now, and the next race, 17th race, is in Mexico. So it's the New Mexican Grand Prix. For, well, it's been uh, revamped, as I was saying, about tracks being revamped. Uh, last time this was raced on was ni in the 19 early 1990s. So this is the first time it's been raced on uh, since then. So hopefully... I uh, hope you've enjoyed this episode, uh, hopefully we can uh, get better or get a better start to the weekend and get a better qualifying and then uh, start start performing better in the race again So and challenging our teammate so, and potentially overtake him for third. So thanks very much for joining us for the for the American Grand Prix. Hope you've enjoyed and until next time, thanks very much for watching. Bye!